India is home to one of the most iconic species of wildlife in the world, the Asiatic elephant. Our country's forests hold more than 30,000 elephants, which is 60% of the world's Asiatic elephant population. Elephants are an integral part of our culture and heritage. They are revered as the living incarnation of Lord Ganesha, remover of obstacles. The habitats of elephants are crucial carbon sinks that help sequester atmospheric carbon dioxide. Elephants and their habitats are our best line of defense in the face of climate change. Recognizing their social, cultural, religious and ecological importance, the government of India declared elephants as India's national heritage animal. But India's ever-increasing population combined with forest fragmentation and habitat loss has led to the collision of the worlds of elephants and people. Every year, over 500 people are killed and lakhs worth of property are destroyed when elephants enter human habitations. Humans are not the only casualties. Elephants are victims too. Human-elephant conflict has become a major cause of concern for our government. Elephants require vast stretches of forest for their survival. Their long-ranging habits inevitably bring them in direct contact with humans, leading to conflict. Addressing these issues has been a major cause of concern for our government. Forest departments are working round the clock to nurture a healthy coexistence between elephants and people. They are finding innovative and diverse ways to facilitate the reduction of conflict. The department has been adopting habitat enrichment methods to ensure there is adequate food and water. With their survival needs met, there is a reduced chance of elephants wandering out of these forested areas. In areas where the forests are fragmented and wildlife corridors are thin, elephants sometimes move out of non-protected areas as they try to cross over into neighboring patches of forest or sometimes to raid crop fields. In these cases, the department adopts different strategies to keep elephants inside the boundaries of protected areas. Simultaneously, they also work to improve the overall health of corridors. In places where elephants frequently come into human habitations, the forest department has devised ways to guide the animals back into the forests. The methods use highly trained forest staff with customized equipment to divert the elephants back into the protected areas. It also involves daily monitoring and tracking of elephants to aid in rapid response if necessary. In situations where elephants have entered residential areas and people's lives are at stake, the forest department shifts to a crisis management mode. Rapid response, precise communication and effective execution of protocols are critical to the safety of all. The department takes measures to de-escalate the situation to avoid untoward incidents. After the conflict is resolved, they engage with the affected people and arrange for compensation of damages. To prevent conflict from happening in the first place, early warning systems have been adopted in many locations. The forest department innovatively uses technology to warn people of elephant presence, thus preventing the chance of an accident. Any successful conflict mitigation program requires the participation and cooperation of all stakeholders. The forest department runs numerous programs to educate people about the right way to deal with elephants when they enter human habitations. This includes training of responders, stakeholders and the general public who can be valuable allies in the journey to reduce elephant-human conflict. Elephants are an integral part of the tropical forest ecosystem. They are flagships of biodiversity conservation. 
as humanity grapples with the vagaries of climate change and life-crippling zoonotic diseases, conservation of elephants and their biodiverse habitats assumes greater importance. India is committed to the cause of elephant conservation, but more importantly, towards paving the way to a future where people and elephants can coexist in harmony.